So for part A, we know that the potential gravitational potential energy is, we could say, is inversely proportional to the um, radi uh, the distance r, and we can then say that at an r value, uh, a factor of five over four times what it was at the surface. So we can essentially say r final is equaling five over four times r initial. This means that essentially u, the uh, potential energy would be equal to four times the potential energy at the surface divided by five. So again, we just uh, flip that, uh, flip the fraction essentially. Uh, therefore, we can then say that we know the potential energy at the surface to be negative 5.0 times 10 to the ninth joules. And we can then say at r equaling 1.25 times r at the surface, essentially, uh, we have that here. u would be equal to negative 4.0 times 10 to the ninth joules. We can then say that um, mechanical energy is going to be conserved. Therefore, we have that the kinetic energy plus the potential energy would be equal to negative 2.0 times 10 to the ninth joules. And given this, um, because the uh, gravitational potential energy is negative 4.0 times 10 to the ninth joules, we can then say that here the kinetic energy is going to be equal to positive 2.0 times 10 to the ninth joules. This would be our answer for part A for our kinetic energy. For part B, we know that to reach the point where the mechanical energy equals the potential energy, um, so essentially here, the um, gravitational potential energy would be equal to negative 2.0 times 10 to the ni uh, ninth joules. We can then say that we, uh, u, the, gra the potential energy must reduce by a factor of two. So reduced by a factor of two. And we can then say, this is of course from its value at 1.25, at r equaling 1.25 r sub s. So we can then say that the uh, the turning point here, we can simply say r would be equal to 2 times 1.25. So r is equaling 2.5 r, essentially the distance at the surface. This would be our answer to part b. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.